So here's an entertaining one about a gal who's having a full-blown meltdown because her boyfriend did not propose to her in the way she wanted. He didn't do the full-on, ridiculous, over-the-top, down on one knee, big special event, tears, drama, all that. No, not at all. The exact opposite. And after a year of being proposed to and having a guy that wants to marry her and soon be married, she can't let it go. Now, in fairness, when you see how he proposed to her, you can't blame her for being upset. I'll, I'll be fair here. However, I think probably what's going on is, and I'll see if you guys can connect the dots and make this come to the same conclusion that I did. It seems to me she's the type that probably would never leave him alone about it. She probably badgered him constantly about this proposal and all these things that she wants. And finally, he probably just lost it and just did what he did. And that on that basis, <clears throat> you actually can't blame the guy. And I thought it'd be a good one to show you how wacko gals get over these stupid proposals, etc., etc. But I'll let you guys be the ones to decide whether she's warranted here in her crying and carrying on or not. Title. How do I, a 28-year-old female, move forward from a disappointing proposal for my fiancé? She says, my fiancé and I have been together for eight years. As a whole, we have a great, stable relationship, but I can't move past my constant disappointment from his proposal. Okay. She's 28. She's on her way to the altar, which all women want by the time they're turning 30. She says they've had a great, stable relationship, except for the proposal. And this is her words here. I didn't receive a uh, this is why I love you speech or a grand gesture asking me to marry him. He never got down on one knee. Not that it's the end of the world, but it's just painting the picture. Boo hoo that he didn't get down on one knee and grand gestures and all. That's all ridiculous. It was the last day of our camping trip and I thought I, that he... I, and I... Oh, let me start again. It was the last day of our camping trip that I really thought he was going to propose during. That evening, he only wanted to go fishing, so I sat in my kayak, probably seven feet away, and cried myself for over an hour that it wasn't going to happen since he didn't propose at any beautiful hiking viewpoints or sunsets through the week, and we were leaving in the morning. Okay, so you're making a big scene. Maybe he was going to do it later. Who knows? But because he didn't do it in your time frame that you wanted and by some beautiful waterfall or next to a freaking deer in the distance, you're now, he wants to go fishing because you're going home tomorrow and you're there crying and carrying on like, like this whole thing here. When we, brought, when we brought the kayaks in after finishing fishing until dark, he went to the truck, came back and handed me a ring, a ring box saying, this should make you happy. And that's it. And that's all. Okay, that is obviously not the most loving proposals, but again, I'm piecing together that she's been there crying the whole time, making a big scene, probably badgering him for years, and finally just having enough of this. He's like, there you go. Are you happy? As a guy, I can see where he's coming from. I'm sure many of you can too. I booked the same campsite on the same lake on the same day this year and hinted over and over again that he could make it up to me. Oh, for God's sakes. He did not even acknowledge the anniversary of our engagement. Uh, I didn't realize that was a thing. Acknowledging the anniversary of your engagement. Aren't you focusing more on the actual wedding part? We are to get married in August, but I can't move forward from this. I cry when friends get beautiful engagements. I cry watching rom-coms. I feel nothing but disappointment that I will never experience the gesture of love I dreamed about my whole life. Isn't this the girl who said in the beginning that we've been together for eight years and as a whole we had a great stable relationship. But because he didn't propose to you the way you wanted because you were probably badgering him about it and, and being a drama queen, here, here you go. This will make you happy. She's let everything, forgetting about all the great times, but the one time he does this and she won't let it go. And she's going to get a guy that's going to marry her in spite of her being a pain in the ass. Anytime we have a disagreement or I feel unwanted by him, I'm just reminded of the disappointment I feel in regards to the proposal. I don't even enjoy looking at my beautiful ring because it doesn't bring me happy memory. Okay, give it back and set this guy free. Because obviously she's going to carry this around with her to the day she fucking dies. This feeling is clouding how I feel about him. Even though he has never treated me poorly and is my best friend. Right there. He's never treated me poorly, best friend, great stable relationship. But she has to fuck it all up. I don't want to ruin my relationship over this, but I don't know how to move on. Do you see how I say quite often that women have a 
emotions, CPU, operating system, whatever you want to call it. You can look at all the great things, but that one little thing, the way it made her feel, that's all she's focusing on. He said he can't change how things happen, which is true, but it's been over a year and I can't seem to move past my disappointment. Well, either you're going to move past it or you're not. And if you're going to let, keep carrying this thing around, do the guy a favor and end it. Give him back the ring so he can at least get something for it and part ways. And you're fucking up a great thing over this. Now, again, if, if this is his personality and he did this, and if she wasn't badgering him and giving him a hard time being a pain in the ass about this, and that was his proposal, I can see why she's upset. But I'm telling you, and this is the way I interpret it, she's been probably a giant pain in the ass about this whole fucking thing. And she just pushed him too far and he had enough. She says, thank you for all the comments. No matter how harsh or, or hard to read they may be, I've read 900 of them. At this time, for my own mental health, I'm going to have to take a step back and think about what I want to do for my future. She also says, I would like, also like to add, hundreds of comments are stating my expectations are too high and I never want a grand gesture or a Hollywood proposal, but rather a few words of affirmation and proof that I mean enough to him that marriage is obviously what he wanted. It probably is what he wanted, but you rushed him ahead with this goddamn engagement thing. He was, the man was camping. The man was fishing. Leave him the fuck alone. But she's there in the kayak, ooh, crying and carrying on, rowing a man's fishing trip. This is why when you do these things, you go with other dudes. And they're not going to be crying over proposals and engagements. And all the good times you're ruining over this. Additionally, we've spoken at length about my disappointment from a lack of romance here and other aspects of our relationship. Finally, I did not destroy our camping trip or wine the entire time, as many suggested. You sure about that, honey? I, feel, I, I think we got some story changing going on here. I never brought anything up for the eight days we were going on the trip that I planned. This wasn't a trip he poured a ton of time into or money, as people are suggesting, but rather we are avid campers. I cried the last night as he encouraged me to take a, jo a job which requires br uh, being away from him that morning and after finding a ring prior to the trip, but not receiving it before our trip was over. I was quite devastated. Yeah, but I guarantee he knows you eight years. He knows this is what you're expecting. He knows the pressure's on. He can probably see every day you're getting much more tense and, and type A and all that because you're expecting this ring, expecting this ring. Not my proudest moment, but I cried myself to sleep. Not, not to him, and nor was I obviously upset for hours. We spent fishing, an activity that I hate, but rather shed some tears while tossing a line on my own for a while. I think she's downplaying this. I suggested proposing to him a few times over the years, and he hated the idea. I wasn't going to do something he w that, that he wouldn't be happy with just to speed things along for myself. So, there you go. That just proved my point. She suggested uh, proposing to him a few times over the years. So, they've been together eight years. So, over the years means more than one. Maybe two, three, or four. And she kept bringing it up and bringing it up. And it was probably just wearing him down, just enjoying a relationship. It's his 20s, establishing himself in the world. Even so far as she'll propose to him. That's how bad she wants the goddamn proposal. And he's like, no, I'm not going to have a woman do that. That's ridiculous. So I really connect the dots here that she's been a pain in the ass about this for years. And finally, he was pushed too far. He's like, here, there you go. That's what happened. This will make you happy. That's what I interpret out of this whole thing. So, guys, let's hear your opinions. Is this guy just a big jerk that was an insensitive scumbag that wouldn't think about her feelings? Or she did she push him too far? I want to hear your opinions on this.